Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope that you had a miraculous weekend. I myself did nothing this weekend, but I was awesome at it. So there's my silver lining. I rock at doing nothing. Okay, so have you ever heard of the one little word? Like you pick a word at the beginning of the year and that's going to be your theme for the year. Um, I'll put the information down in the comments below. Somebody started it. I'm not sure off the top of my head who it is, but this link will be down there. So anyway, um, so you pick this word that's going to be like your theme for the year and that's kind of what you're going to, you don't necessarily set resolutions, but you, well, I guess you do set resolutions. They're going to be your goals based on this word. So, um, I've tried to do it the last couple of years and I couldn't ever really come up with one that I felt was fitting because my life is, is changing so much in the last few years and is I'm in different cycles every other Wednesday. So, um, could never really, I guess my year for my word, if I had to go back and choose my word for the last two years would be chaos, utter chaos. That's two words, but anyway, so this year I thought at the beginning of the year, I thought I don't want to set just specific, like really specific resolutions because I always set myself up for failure and then I just, instead of doing anything, I do nothing. So um, this year I thought about it a little bit and I know we're in March and I'm a little bit late to be talking about it, but I'm talking about it now. So um, I thought about it and thought about it and finally one day, because I was thinking about little things that I wanted to do this year and all of a sudden one day the word just popped into my head and so my word for 2015 is repair. And what do I mean by repair? So there's a few things. There's categories. And I've written about them here in my little journal. Live the life you imagined. Isn't that inspiring? Okay, so I wrote about them in my little journal. And if you're going to choose a word for the year or if you already have, I highly recommend finding a little journal or notebook that's specifically for that because it's helpful to write about things. Okay, I feel like I'm like venturing off. I'm sorry if the lighting in here sucks, but that's how it goes. So um, I wrote about kind of what I wanted to do. So um, I have different categories of things that I want to repair. So my first category is physical things that I want to repair. Wow, you just wanted to be first in line, didn't you? I'm talking to my eye. I think I've told you about my eye before. So thing number one, I've been putting it off and putting it off. Um, I need my tear duct rebuilt and this stuff in my sinuses and whatever. I've told you my eye doesn't drain and we've talked about this, but um, so I wanna get my eye repaired. Um, second thing, I hate the dentist. I wish I could be the person that advocates go to the dentist twice a year, but I can't. I am deathly afraid of the dentist. I, mm -mm. I haven't been to the dentist in five years. Oh, you can't even see it. Five. Wait. Five years. Um, as a result, I probably have 7,684 cavities. Um, I am missing... Oh, this side. I'm missing two teeth. See? A little hillbilly tooth. It's a little hillbilly tooth. Um, no offense to anybody out there that's missing teeth, but I'm missing two teeth. I have one tooth that is only like a teeny tiny piece. It's back up on this side. Um, I have all sorts of things going on in there. I'm just afraid. I'm, I'm afraid. I am afraid. And they say, oh, just get laughing gas. Laughing grass doesn't work very well on us chubby girls. So that's another thing that's on my list is we're going to repair the teeth. Um, and then rosacea. I've complained about it for years and I'm getting acne now on my neck which just makes being a fat girl even better um I don't really have a skin regimen that I stick to so that's another thing that I'm looking that I'm gonna do this year and I've kind of already started but we'll get into that later um and then repairing my weight um I guess that kind of doesn't make sense when you think about it, but repairing my eating habits, repairing my exercise habits, everything, and losing some weight. So there's repair on the physical side. And then maybe on the spiritual aspect of things, is that the way to say it? I guess, um, repair some relationships. Um, relationships with certain family members, relationships with certain people, and uh, my relationship with God. So 
there's that. And then repair bad habits, repair, just repair, repair. So those are all the main things that I really focused on um, when I was thinking of my word repair. And um, just to, this year I just really want to finish out the year just feeling better as a whole person. And um, so I got a little, I got myself a present for Valentine's Day. I got a necklace and um, I got this little charm. Oh, I suck at this. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? No, because I suck at this. It says repair. And then um, one big thing that I wanted to fix um, this year and really kind of invest my time and my um, emotions and thoughts and feelings and soul into um, is repairing my broken heart. So i uh, kind of been through the ringer in the last few years as far as uh, divorce goes and um, it was tough. So, and I've kind of let my feelings and my anger and my hurt and my pain um, about the whole thing kind of hold me back in a way. And so, and I haven't really put a lot of investment into healing from my divorce. And so, um, as a reminder, I wanted, I got this little charm that has, can you see that? Can you see that? So, it's a little mended heart. Uh, yeah, so I wear this around my neck to remind myself that I am in repair. So, when I get down, I like to look at it and just remember that I am working hard every day to become my better self. I guess that's the way to say it. Anyway, I uh, got the necklace from Lisa Leonard Designs, just in case you're wondering. I'll put a link down to their site at the bottom. So, one little word. That's what I wanted to talk about today. Uh, let's see. I think that's it. I kind of wanted to be more inspirational, but I'm not. Look at my eyebrows. Check out them eyebrows. I have been working a little bit on filling them in, and they're looking spicy. I like them. Uh, next week, we're going to talk about weight loss, and I'm having surgery next week. Um, it's the beginning of my repair process. I'm getting my eye fixed, so we're going to vlog about that, and it's going to be fun. Okay, that's enough rambling for now, so... Go ahead and hit the like button for these eyebrows, and I will see you next week. Bye!